After more than three weeks, this sit-in has turned into a celebration. Supporters of Pakistan's blasphemy laws were able to force the government into giving in to their demands. Not only has the federal law minister stepped down, but the government of Pakistan Muslim League Noon has also agreed to investigate itself. A crowd of just thousands brought cities of millions to a standstill here by choking a main artery in and out of the capital city. And this really is becoming a common way, an all too common way, of achieving any kind of power here in <laughs> Pakistan by being a disruptive force on the streets and effectively laying siege to Islamabad and then making political demands with the threat of force. Leaders of this fringe group have been bolstered by their newfound influence on the country's political affairs. Pakistan was created on the basis of the belief that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. We know that for 70 years fraud has been committed against the religion so now we should place religion on the throne. Khadam Hussein Rizvi is the man at the center of all this. A one-time preacher at a mosque in Lahore, he was removed by that city's governing religious body for his hardline views. He's built his support base by being a staunch advocate for the country's blasphemy laws. He's even run for a seat in parliament. So what's next for this fledgling political party? Ask the crowd and the answers more or less stay the same. They are the leaders. Whatever guidelines they give us, we will follow accordingly. Going forward, whatever our leaders tell us to do, we are completely at their service. Paramilitary units were on standby to prevent any more unrest. And while protest leaders agreed to end their sit-in, hours later people here were still not ready to leave. And more demonstrators were arriving. It's the kind of do-or-die loyalty that political parties campaign for decades to achieve something Rizvi has been able to accomplish in a few months, just ahead of next year's elections. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Islamabad.